Welcome to the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Whether it's painting, carving, photography, or pancake art, everyone has a creative, artistic side. Get ready to enjoy our next presenter and creative seminar. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to make a big grand entrance. <laughs> well, welcome and thank you all for coming today. I'm going to do a palette knife demonstration with oils. And I got to tell you a little quick story before we get started here. I went two days ago to the florist to ask them to bring me beautiful big sunflowers like they have in France all summer long, which is what the postcard in front of you has a photo of a, some sunflowers I took last year. And so I, she said, well, you know, we're really busy. And I said, well, you know, if you could just get me a half a dozen or so, that would be really great. And so she said, okay, fine. I, yeah, I, no worries, I can get them for you. So I go yesterday to pick them up, and I walk in, and there's 5,000 million red roses everywhere. And these were the flowers she had for me. That was it, these little tiny guys. So when all else fails, there's Michael's. <laughs> so, all right. So... Before we get started here, I'd like to introduce you to the materials we're going to use in the demonstration today. I'm using a Raphael oil prime panel on wood, and the colors I'm using, I use Georgian oils, and I have a titanium white, cad yellow light, and this one is a new ad. This is cad yellow medium, yellow ochre, cad red light, Alizarin Crimson, Ultramarine Blue, Black, Yellow Green, and Burnt Sienna. And I also use Poppy Oil. And then this is the product, the acrylic, that I primed this panel with before I started. So let's get started. I start with an Egbert Silly Brush. And I use this Turpanoid Natural, which is a citrus-based product, and it's not harmful at all. So it's very good for travel because you can take it on the airplane. And what I'd like to do is just loosely start by sketching, very loosely, these flowers. And as you can see, I'm not doing anything too, too tight on this sketch. I just want to get the position of those flowers in. And I'm using this Turpanoid Natural as a medium and as a cleaner. So, lightly sketching that in. And, I, and this gives me an opportunity to stare at my subject, make some alterations as I see them, to work on my composition. Okay. I'm just going to rough in the direction of some of these petals very loosely. And I squint my eyes when I'm looking at my subject matter, so you might see me doing that quite a bit. It just helps me to get an impressionistic view of what I'm going to be painting today. This nice sideways one here. We've got one here. Okay. A nice big one in the front here. I'm going to move him down a little bit and he'll be our focal sunflower. Okay. Just going to roughly indicate where this vase is in relationship to the flowers and draw that in very loosely. And I'm going to have my composition go right off the page. Again, step back, take a look at it. I like to get back quite a distance to see how it is. Line it up. Yep. Okay, then I'm going to mix. I use two palette knives for painting. These are RGM palette knives, and I use a number five for mixing and a number 33 for painting until I get sloppy and I use the same one. So I'm going to mix up the belly of the flowers first with a little bit of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. Give us a nice, rich, dark color for the center. I'm going to pick up my knife, and as I pick up my paint, I use this knife for everything. So what I do is I pick it up like you're picking up butter, basically, on the edge 
of this knife. And the one main thing about palette knife painting is you've got to keep that knife perfectly clean all the time. So every, practically every time I have a change of color, I'll go in and wipe that knife. So you see that the bellies are not perfectly round, except the one in front, which is. Okay. And then when the, to thin my paint, I use this poppy seed oil, poppy oil, a few little spritz of, of that. Let's see, we've got kind of a angled one here. Bring this one down, and this one we don't see anything. So that's our starting point. Wipe, toss. I'm gonna mix up some of these yellows right now, and on your card, you'll notice that I did a split screen to show you. When you're outside painting, you want to notice the lights and the shadows. And here today, we have light coming from everywhere, but this is just a reminder to mix your light colors in one value and your shadow colors in another value. So I'm going to mix up some of these lights first. So with my cad yellow and titanium white, going to put a little bit of this cad yellow medium in there. And I like to keep it marbleized. I don't like to blend it too much. So you have a nice um, striation in the colors. So take up my palette knife, match, hold it up to my arrangement, see how it is. And then I, I like that color combination. So just next to it, I'm going to put in a shadow side, which is going to be a darker value than the lights we just mixed. And in order to achieve color harmony in a painting, it's best to use a limited palette, which is what I do. Basically a double primary, two yellows, two reds, two blues, black and white. And then when you're mixing your colors, it's nice to take some of your colors that you've already mixed and blend them into your other colors. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start with that. And I'm gonna start laying in some of these shadow colors. So I'm picking it up. Sort of shadows, so let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we do have some shadows back here in the backgrounds. Again, painting on the, with the edge of my knife. Again, this is gonna be a very loose abstract impressionism. Okay, got a little bit of dark on this side coming up. Loosely putting that knife down. And the other thing with palette knife is you can really get a nice layered effect. Wiping that knife off each time, very important. And we've got some shadow under here. Okay, I'm gonna to come to my lighter side of my flowers. Notice where they are pretty much, we're gonna place that light in this direction. So we've got loose, loose strokes. We don't want to paint every petal. We're interested in just an impressionistic view of what we've got here. So nice and loose. You'll notice that the petals are shorter on this inside. So I'm going to make those a little bit shorter. And then they drop down again. OK. And this one flower, see, I'm already not following my own rules, change knives. Put a little yellow ochre, pick up a little bit of that yellow, mix it in to create some more shadow color. And I'm gonna give myself some shadows here, here, and here. Okay, I'll go back to my lights. We've got some nice long strokes here. And also the shape of this knife lends itself to sunflowers very nicely with the point. And putting warm over cool also causes the colors to vibrate, which is a nice 
effect on a painting. So, little strokes there. Mix up a little bit more, cheating again. <laughs> All right. And we've got some, these petals coming up. Gonna put some darks underneath it. Some more lights coming through. Okay. So then we do have a lot of nice oranges in that in those flowers as well. So I'm going to pick up this and they don't all flare out. Some of them are curved down like right here. This is our straight on flower, turn the knife. And I also like to leave some chunky areas where you see the texture of the palette knife. That's the beauty of the palette knife. You really get lovely textures on paintings. So. All right, I'm gonna introduce some of that nice medium value on the yellow, wipe it off, pick up some more. Okay, I'm gonna mix some of this deeper, intense, it's a little thicker, so put a little spray on it. And let's go to, I see it toward the center of these flowers, wipe the knife off to start. Pick up a nice clean knife of paint. And just some little flecks in here. They're starting to take shape. I hope. <laughs> Okay, and let's keep going here, layering some of those petals in there. And they do overlap. They do touch or kiss one another. <laughs> Orange in this one. I picked up a little bit of my burnt sienna in the middle, which is fine. I just go over it. Okay. In the center, I'm going to add a little bit of lightness in those centers of the flowers. I'm going to pick up some yellow ochre into my previous mixture of ultramarine blue and put a little little sunshine in that in those flowers okay I'm gonna go on to the leaves real quickly here how are we doing time wise yeah 30 minutes goes very quickly. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to mix up some greens now. And I do that by using 
going back to my CAD red light, uh, excuse me, CAD yellow light. I don't use tube greens. Um, I use this CAD yellow light and black because it's a lovely Floridian. Gives you a nice olivey tone. Again, that's CAD yellow light and black. That'll give me a nice dark, rich olive color. And then to complement that, or contrast it, I'm going to create a cool green. Again, CAD yellow light, this time ultramarine blue. Mix that together, and you're going to see a much cooler green, which is going to make the flowers pop. A little bit more yellow here. As you can see, the contrast between the warm and the cool in the greens. Get a little bit more here. Okay. So we're going to come back in, clean our knife, and put in some of these dark greens in the center. So I'm coming right on top of where I've painted, putting in some leaves, just pulling that knife in a leaf pattern. Here's a, the warm green on top of that. Little hints of color in between our flowers. We've got we've got quite a bit of green on this one here. Don't want them all the same size. And then we have some stems coming down, which I use the edge of the knife for. Come in here. And then we have a nice accent color in our ultramarine blue. Ultramarine blue and white to pick up these little, what are they? I'm not quite sure what they are. The little irisy flowers, so iris color. So I'm going to put in some greens, and I'm going to have them go off the page, off my canvas. Coming downward. OK. I need some more green in this area here. Again, that's the cad yellow light and black. Gives us that nice olivey green. Need some nice big leaves in here. Fan those out a bit. OK. I'm going to come in here and pick up that pretty blue that we have. So I'm going to use a light and a dark so that they pop. So I'll come in here with the darker first and put some of those pretty blue little flowers in here. Here as well. I'm going to bring some down here. You want your eye to move around the canvas. You don't want everything in the center. We've got some coming there. Then I'm going to go on top of it and put the lighter value. And I can see that I need to make that a little bit lighter so that it shows up better. So I put a little bit more white into it. Let's see how that looks. Yep, that's better contrast. Again, not every petal, just an indication of where those are to tie and pull the entire arrangement together. A little bit over here, coming off. Stand back, take a look at it. OK. And I'm going to put in some more of these stems. I'm going to pull them across to make them a little bit thicker on the bottom. So they stand up a little bit more. And then I'm going to show you quickly 
how I do a vase. Okay, so I'm going to take some white, a little bit of blue. If you notice on glass, there's a darker edge, a little bit of gray. And because we have a light tone background, um, we're going to leave that in as our background color. So I'm going to put in a little bit of the dark edges, a little bit of with the gray, I think. Yep. So I'm going to pull that in here with a straight line because I see that shadow on the edge of my vase. Here as well. There's a lip coming across here. And there's a highlight on that edge. And there is a back side to that vase. Then I'm going to come in here and pull some highlights across very gently. And a little bit of the blue. And then I'd like to put in a water ring, which I do by taking a little bit of all my colors, make kind of a muddy shade, and come in here. So I'm going to put my water about at that point. Need to make it a little bit lighter. And then soften that. And then actually when you have flowers coming, excuse me, stems coming in into a vase, the stems don't go at the edge of the water line. They're actually in the center slightly. So what we want to do is emphasize that by putting in some dark, some of that green with a break where the water would be. I'm just going to use my finger to pull some of this down, blend it down a little bit. And then enhance those stems coming through in the middle and then picking up underneath it. 